Uh-oh. A potential COVID vaccine gone bad? The vaccine being developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca hit a snag after a patient in the UK had an adverse reaction. Astra said Tuesday, quote, we are working to expedite the review of the single event to minimize any potential impact on the trial timeline, end quote. Apparently pauses like this are routine action in large trials and experts aren't sure if the incident is directly linked to the vaccine or not. If, how are you feeling about this one? Well, I know everybody likes to talk about vaccines lately, whether or not you want to have them, whether or not they're good for you. It's my understanding that when they go through trials, it's common to have hiccups, right? And patients have adverse reactions. So this is not too crazy. Um, but I think we really want to understand, obviously, we're trying to rush this out. It feels like we're rushing it out. Absolutely. So maybe other than a regular vaccine that we always get, I would personally be a little bit more hesitant to jump on this of course. and wait and see course, how people sure. react. But how about sure. you? As much as we want to have this cure for COVID and know that we're all safe, we have to also worry about long term later down the line. Are there going to be any kind of side effects or anything potential that could harm us yeah. long term? Yeah, I know plenty of people that wouldn't want to do a regular vaccine like that's Right. But you, I mean, at some point, you, it's just thinking for yourself and that's yeah. fine. That's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah. But I could at least understand it with this one, like being rushed. It feels a little bit more like, well, what are the true long term effects? We don't Right. Know. But it's like a, it's a yin and a yang. You know, we have to it weigh is. out outweigh the options and say, what's where is it? Is it worth it to try it and right. slow, slow down COVID? Right. Among all the serious issues in the world, there's another heated battle about to take place. That's right. The Xbox and PlayStation's next generation consoles are just around the corner. It's been a bit of a cat and mouse game as to who would leak release information first, but it appears that Microsoft has cracked. The Xbox Series S has been confirmed for November 10th release and it will retail at $299, while Series X is rumored to cost around $499. Now it's up to Sony to start the talking. If you've watched other shows, you know where Sherry and I stand on the console wars. Smiley, how about you? All right, for all those people living in the Stone Age, Break it down to us. I am not there. You're so not a gamer? I'll get I'm you there. Don't worry. Okay. I'll get you there. Let's speed me up. This game of chicken going on between Sony and Microsoft for a while right. now, right? In past I'm posturing who's going to crack first. Who's going to crack first about chicken the release the date? Exactly. <laughs> in past years, they've always released around the same time November, right? right which is before the uh, holiday season. Looks like Xbox actually is the first one with some leaked information that was later confirmed. So, November 10th for the Series S, which is their low end model, retailing for $299. They are estimating that within a, within a week or two after that, the Series X, which is a larger, higher performing machine with uh, larger memory is gonna be for $499, right? So okay. now, it's Sony's move. With, within a week or two of that, they're gonna release right. the, the Series So you can get the first one that's around November 10th for the 299, which is like a smaller, kind of little watered down version, maybe not as much memory on it. Exactly. Not all the capabilities, or you can wait for a few weeks after that and pay a couple more hundred bucks, $4.99 I believe, yes. and get the full off console. Yeah, now that's not exactly, the the, the the larger unit is not actually confirmed, but it's it's expected to be confirmed right. the next week. And as this is usually the pattern or kind of how they do things when they release. Really exactly, do. November again, taking advantage of the, the shopping time with Black Friday, which may look a little different this year. Is there a better time for another Borat? My wife. <laughs> You'll never get this. La, la, la. I don't think so. Apparently Borat 2 has already been shot and screened. Sasha Baron Cohen was seen shooting in LA last month, and some are thinking it's for the new Borat. But Cohen is no longer the unknown Kazakh TV personality. So what could the plot be this time? Since the film's debut in 2006, it has made $200 million, but this might be a bet to say this will be another sequel. What do you think? I would love it. I would gotta think enough time's passed, and he could go out to some unsuspecting you know, yes. interviewees like he's done in the past and get a lot of good content out there, right? I mean, as, as popular as a movie as that was, there's a lot of people in the U.S. that maybe uh, have never seen that and don't know who that no character way. is. No way, I don't believe it. I don't, if you haven't seen Sasha Born and Borat, like, just, just get away from me. I Are you gonna do the voice? I'll, 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 what, give me your best, give me your best line. Give me your nice. best line. Nice. Very nice, how much? You will never get this. Ooh la la la, ooh la la la. <laughs> Favorite line, man. Sasha, if you're doing this, kudos to you, my man. We love to see you in another Borat. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm with my host, Cliffy. And it is your boy, uh, uh, Smiley. And we'll see y'all next time. See ya. Bye.